All right, let's get started. Two beers. <laughs> we got the uh, Monzon Brewing from Puerto Vallarta. This is the Lapita IPA. And then we got other half. This one is their All Together IPA. I've showed both of these already. Nothing new here. This one was from Mexico, funny enough. The dude that brewed it was from my state. <laughs> I don't, funny coincidence, but um, yeah, already shown this one. It's a West Coast IPA. This is a hazy IPA from other half. So this was my shower beer. I was drinking it, set it aside, totally forgot about it. Then when I set my shave up, grabbed a beer for the shave, and now I got two. So it is what it is, okay? All right, let's not make a thing about it. I'm forgetful. We got some soap loaded up in the Lancaster Bowl. It is menthol Matty Monday. We're gonna be using Matty Lindholm shaving supplies. And this is the, uh, the very complex scent of orange and orange. So, you see that very short ingredients list? You know you know what the fuck you're doing when you can make a short ingredients list work some wonders. So basically, all I did was, last time I dropped it in the bottom of my bowl and lathered like that. That's fine. It has like two layers of wrapping and then underneath is the puck. You can see I just kind of scraped it. Simple as that. Just scrape some out, put it in the bowl. It is somewhat harder than the uh, the soaps that we have here, or at least the majority of the artisan soaps. It's still soft enough to put a dent in it with like your finger and a little bit of pressure, but it's like it's harder than a croup. Like this would qualify as a soap in my book. <clears throat> All right, we got my first custom wolf whiskers right here. This one. I believe the handle was called like Tyrion or some shit like that. Honestly, I didn't pay no attention to what the handle was called. It's just like a little chess piece or... Oh no, I think it was called Tuxedo. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think it was called Tuxedo. But it's just a metallic black and, and silver. And then the Black Wolf synthetic knot on top. We are going to be hitting up the Menth dealer today. <sighs> right there, baby. Let me just get a crumb. Let me just get a crystal. Mm-hmm. It's gonna mm. I know you can see that. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's gonna get some crystals in there. And uh, let's get started lathering. So you can see we got that nice crystal coating on the bottom. Crystal meth. His name was Crystal Meth. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we are we are gonna be hitting up the Menth dealer for some nice chilling effects. Maddie's soap, I have used it before. It's good stuff. The uh, Maddie Mondays was brought to you by the guy that pretty much I think we're gonna start calling him the theme. The theme queen, the theme king, um, the canabler, Ken, shave three, two, six. He came up with Maddie Mondays as far as I know. And so I'm going to hop on board at least for a, at least for a little while. I like this Maddie soap. I like using, um, a little bit more basic soaps from time to time. You know, kind of keeping me humble, knowing that inexpensive software and hardware will get the job done, and Maddie's soap is really no exception. It's actually, I was pretty, pretty happy with the way it performed that first time around. Um, oh yeah, we got gobs. This is, uh, this is going to be a good shave. I figured, since we're using Matty Lindholm, 
um, shaving soap, I would use one of his buddies, Dave Card, one of his favorite uh, style of razors with the Weck. This one has got the um, Diane blade. You know, I was digging, I was digging those Annie blades, but you know, Diane, she got a little bit more going on. Had to check out Diane, so. <laughs> I kind of hit it and quit it with Annie. Moved right over to Diane. It is what it is. She'll get over it. <laughs> She's just lucky that Kismet in town. I want to try those Kismet blades. So, we are going to get a nice cooling shave. It has been um, getting colder up here in the Pacific Northwest. But uh, I would say... Look at how fucking loaded that is. I would say that uh, in the daytime, it's still getting up to pretty warm temperatures. And then at the nighttime, it's um, getting pretty fucking cold. Me and the wife are leaving the uh, windows open in the bedroom at night. No, no need for the uh, air conditioner anymore. And... It is still, it is still cooling the room very much with just the night air. It's kind of getting into my favorite time of year when it's like Oktoberfest slash hunting season. Um, we go salmon fishing. The breweries start making like, the breweries in America start making all these European style um, ales. Which, I mean... Breweries in America make European style ales all year round, but they start making like more during this time of year, the holiday season. You definitely start seeing all those uh, fest beers and Marzins and start seeing more like, um, more like British uh, style ales as well. Milds, porters, um, Stout season as well. I think this stuff can use some more water. I'm just gonna paint some water on. We got some nice, nice cooling that is starting to build. Oh yeah, that addition of water helped out, kind of smooth things out really well. All right. Now that's that's a creamy lather. Nothing at all wrong with um with Maddie's soap. Don't let a short ingredients list fool you. Had a good day at work today. It was, uh, it was quick. Even though I worked overtime, went by fast. Went by fast and no real bullshit occurred. Just came in, got shit done, and left. And uh, kind of like it when it works out like that. This is where, over there, I kind of wish I could get a, uh, like a shorter blade so that I could get in there easier. But, uh, regardless, works very well. Maddie's soap right here. <laughs> there's like, there's no, no uh, big bubbles whatsoever. It's like a total dense consistency. I made a very nice, made a very nice lather today. It's a very dense consistency. Just getting some 
loose hairs off the uh, blade there. <clears throat> Soap is plenty slick. I mean, a lot of people have this complex about the uh, WEC. But I find it to be, I find these blades to be very smooth. I agree that they have some scary features to them. Like um, the points of the, the top and bottom. They're sharp, like they're points. They're not rounded down. And it's something to be weary of, but. But the blade itself feels smooth and it, it shaves, you know, cuts clean, feels smooth. I mean, can't really, can't really ask for much more than that. I have been really digging the WEC. The red scales on this one <clears throat> keep it from looking like one of those uh, basic bitch med, uh, med ones, medical ones. But I'm sure they all shave, you know, equally as great, no matter which variation you get the blade is going to be the thing doing the cutting so what does it really matter you know what i mean <clears throat> all right got a pretty pretty smooth first pass just gonna fucking take a little drink here how the fuck did lather get up on the top of my head you guys see that at least I think that's leather. Unless a fucking bird shit on me. <laughs> Let's kind of smooth that lather out while adding a little bit of moisture from my hands. Ooh, I got cold water running, or cold water down here. And, um,. Kind of nice to get that little menthol kick when you throw some cold water on your mentholated skin. It's good shit. All right, Whew. let's get some more of this shit going. So we still got plenty of soap here, and actually, I think there's plenty of soap on the walls. So I'm just gonna dip my brush, the tips into the water, and maybe get some more of that off the walls because. I don't really like it when there's leftovers. Never been a fan of leftovers. We'll see if we can remedy that real quick. Get some more of it off the walls. The scent strength is, uh, it's pretty mild, in all honesty. Scent strength is pretty mild, but it's a very pleasant, um, orange scent. That I don't think <laughs> very many would dislike. God damn. Lather for days. Obviously, I need to tone down my load for uh, Maddie Lindholm. That's what she said. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This stuff just gobs. Gobs of lather. This, uh, this little Wolf Whiskers Black Wolf Knot is like one of the softest synthetics I have. It's not like the backbone king, that's for sure. But it, uh, it's not super floppy or anything like that. But just soft as all get out. I don't really need more. I got a lot more in the bowl here now. I don't really need more. My, my fucking knot is absolutely loaded. I got a nice thick creamy layer of a uh, matte soap on my face so 
No need to bother. You know what I was just thinking right now? I don't think this is the way I normally shave. <laughs> As I put it to my head, I was like, this doesn't feel right. Or does it feel right? It actually felt pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I didn't. I didn't mind that at all. Fucking whack. That whack, man. <clears throat> Good stuff. Seriously, guys, these whacks were made. When I went looking for mine, they were, like, there was options out there. Plenty of options. Of course, they, you know, they weren't in the red scales or some of the more, um you know, decorative scales, but if you want to get one of those medical ones with, like, the, uh, the, like, chrome scales or, or whatever, stainless scales, it's still a whack, you know what I mean? It's the blade that's going to be doing the cutting, so, I don't know, something to think about. How did I do this? I'm just going rogue now. I'm trying something. I messed up over here. Kind of liked it, so I'm just trying something new now. Going with the flow. Feels a little bit more awkward with my left hand. Obviously, I don't have the uh, same amount of control but it really wasn't bad whatsoever <clears throat> I've seen, I think, Marion and Johan jump on board with the Maddie, um, Maddie Monday. I had to keep with the, uh, Menthol Monday, but it was still, it's always nice to use Maddie's soap. This will be my second run with it, and really, I, like, I ain't mad at using it more often. Maddie's soap is good shit. And ever since Dave Card put me onto this WEC, I've been absolutely loving this thing. It's hard not to grab it, honestly. It's not my most flashy razor, definitely not my most expensive razor. Um, but fuck, I love the way, I love the way this hair shaper, um, shaves, man. It just, it gets me so BBS. Like, so incredibly BBS. And I, I just, you can't fuck with it. The, the sharpness of machine steel, like a lot of people make that argument, it is <laughs> the proof is in the pudding man like but it doesn't feel sticky sharp like I'll have different straight razors 
and I can tell like, oh, this one's smooth, but it's cutting efficiently. And then there's others that are like, ooh, this one's sharp. I can feel it. It's sticky sharp. And it's cutting efficiently. But this is like, this is smooth, but cutting more <laughs> efficiently. It's, it's nice. And that, that cold water on the skin, <laughs> on the mentholated skin is nice too. <clears throat> that was a good shape. Really had no doubts that it would be any otherwise. We got the red Lancaster towel to reward me for my quality shave. Except no imitations. Hopefully, my buddy, uh, my buddy Andre will do a release sooner rather than later. I know he's a busy man, and life is throwing him the same curveballs that you know many of us have. So. Hopefully he can find time to get in the shop and get a release out because I can't wait to uh, support him again or at least take my crack at getting some of his uh, awesome shave gear. Okay. I think we got the majority of it anyways. I'm going to be finishing this up with some Honest Abe from Strike Old Shave. It has been honestly hard <laughs> to not fucking use this Honest Abe set like every other day because I fucking love this set. So we gave it a shake. Let's crack it open. Every now and then I'll just come into my my den and throw a little bit of honest stable on. Ain't shit going on. <laughs> I'm just bumming around the house. Throw some honest stable on. And just fucking chill. I absolutely love this scent. Like, if I do like a year-end wrap-up favorite scents type thing. I doubt this will get left off like a top five for 2020. This honest save was the shit for me, but we shall see. There's a lot of a lot of year left. God damn, that's good. All right, fuck it. <laughs> we used Maddie Lindholm shaving supplies, Lancaster bowl, Lancaster towel, the Weck with the Diane blade. We hit up the menth dealer. The menth dealer delivered that raw, that good, good. <clears throat> and then we finished off with the strike gold shave on a stay. And now we're smelling like a fucking boss. So, very nice. Very BBS. <clears throat> All right, so cheers. Thank you to my peers. And I hope you all have a good week ahead of you.